Hello everyone, my name is George Asaf. I am a PhD student at Brandenburg Technical University. I will talk today about colored fuzzy battery nets in Snoopy. Snoopy is a powerful modeling and simulation tool for various types of battery nets. It has been developed over many years ago at Brandenburg Technical University. Uh, the current version of Snoopy is 2.0. Creating a new Bitrinet model starts off with choosing a Bitrinet class from the template list here and then clicking OK. We recently extended Snoopy by Colored Fuzzy Bitrinets. The Colored Fuzzy Bitrinets uh, are listed here in this list as three Bitrinet classes. These classes are Colored Fuzzy Continuous Bitrinet colored fuzzy stochastic between nets and colored fuzzy hybrid between net. Actually, these between nets are extension of plain fuzzy between nets, which are fuzzy continuous between nets, fuzzy hybrid between nets, and fuzzy stochastic between nets. I'm going to demonstrate the procedure of modeling and simulation of colored fuzzy between nets using one biological test case called Rebrisis later. So I have already loaded this model to, mo to the Snoopy environment using load shortcut. If we go, if we uh, click uh, load shortcut, we can choose the Bitrinet model from the file system and we can load it to the Snoopy environment. So this model is actually called uh, gene regulatory net, which consists of three genes, A, B, and C. Each gene expressing a protein which blocks the next gene in a loop. If we go to the color definitions of this model, we can realize that this model has one simple color set called gene set. Its type is enium and consists of three colors A, B, and C. And if we go to the variables, we can also realize that we have one variable X defined on this color set. The entire model consists of three colored places, gene, protein, and the blocked. Each place get assigned this color set gene set, and we have the place gene initialized with uh, three uh, tokens because we have the color expression one, uh, one token of all colors. And we have four transitions, generate, degrade, block, and unblock. In colored fuzzy between nets, the kinetic parameter of rate function can be either defined as crisp value or as a fuzzy kinetic parameter. So I'm going to show you how to define fuzzy kinetic parameters in Snoopy. We go to the declaration tree and double click the constants. We already have four defined constants, three of them k underscore block, k underscore unblock, k underscore leg are crisp values and their that type is the double, while the constant k underscore gen is a fuzzy kinetic parameter and its data type is tfn or triangular fuzzy number. This constant has to be assigned three values or three constants separated by comma. We can easily define a new fuzzy kinetic parameter or constant by clicking add constant button. We give it a name and we assign the data type for this constant tfn and we can directly write the constants of this uh, three constants a, b, and c of this constant directly in the value field or we can double click the value field and we can uh, adjust value of A, value of B, and value of C. And we can see how the fuzzy number will be represented in this dialog. We can uh, save the constant by uh, clicking OK. We can also distinguish between the constants defined as fuzzy numbers and the other constants you from uh, declaration tree and we look at constants node and uh, we can for example realize that uh, for example k underscore gen has uh, three constants 
as the value for this constant. Now for the, uh, our model, we uh, have in the rate function of the transition generate the this k gen or physical net parameter assigned to the rate function of this transition. That's why I marked this transition with uh, color orange just to indicate that it has a fuzzy kinetic parameter in its rate function. Now I will switch to the simulation mode. From view menu, I will choose start simulation mode or we can click F6 for short. And now Snoopy will ask to unfold the colored fuzzy battery net into its plain fuzzy battery net. We can confirm this dialog by clicking start unfolding. Now unfolding finished and we can configure the simulation using simulation configuration window. For example, we can configure the simulating simulation time. We can also choose the stochastic simulator and we can configure its properties like number of stochastic runs and number of threads. And the most important section for the fuzzy simulation is to configure number of alpha levels of the fuzzy numbers in the model, which is 10 by default, and number of sampling points per each alpha level, which is also 10 by default, and number uh, and uh, the sampling strategy. Now we can start the simulation by clicking start simulation button and Snoopy will confirm us to the total number of simulation runs we will have and we can start uh, the simulation by confirming this dialog and now simulation is in progress. As we see here, simulation is about to finish and we can view the results by adding a new view. We'll call it my uh, view and we double click the view and click edit node list and we choose here the unfolded places now we can add all the unfolded places to our view by writing uh, a regular expression dot and also we can choose only some of unfolded places for example, if I want to choose protein A, protein B, and the protein C, I can write only protein and will choose this unfolded places. I can confirm this by saving this view. And now the uh, I have three unfolded places, protein A, protein B, and protein C. As we see here, each, uh, for each protein we have, for each, uh, sorry, unfolded place we have the fuzzy band over time and now we can uh, also view the membership function of each selected species or place uh, over time by uh, choosing a time point for example 10 and uh, as we see here because of the stochasticity issue we have this strange shape of the membership function we can enhance this uh, uh, sh uh, the shape of the membership function by uh, increasing number of stochastic runs. Now I will repeat the experiment by increasing number of stochastic runs. I will configure it to be 1000 or 10,000 stochastic runs and I will start now the simulation again. Now simulation finished and we can view the membership function for example at the time point 10 and we can see the triangular membership functions of uh, protein A, protein B and protein C at the time point 10. Uh, actually this is the idea of modeling and simulation of colored fuzzy stochastic battery nets and the same procedure can be applied for colored fuzzy continuous battery nets and colored fuzzy hybrid battery nets. Thank you for your watching.